Hey, this is Sam from Wargamer Online. Um, just going to show you how to do a Martian base today using Games Workshop's Martian Iron Earth paint. But to begin with, we're going to start with Rhinox Hide and just paint the base as normal, just so that it's not black underneath, so that when the paint cracks, you'll have the brown showing through rather than black. And you could use a lighter colour if you wanted to, it's completely up to you. Now we're just going to add Martian Iron Earth and we're going to use the texture. Uh, spreader from Games Workshop. You could use a brush, but I would just recommend using this because you can you can pile it on quite easily with this and move it around. And you want this as thick as you can, really. Um, the thicker, the, the bigger the cracks will be. If you have it quite thin, like you would a normal paint, they just won't show. It'll just look like you painted the base with a red paint. And then you do need to leave this to fully dry before you go on to the next step. Um, I'd say at least four or five hours for these crackle paints. Okay, so that's been left to dry. You can see it's it started to crackle all over it. And we're using Tyrant School now just to dry brush the raised areas. And this is going to give us our highlighted colour that we're going for. And it's quite a bright colour. It doesn't matter though because we're going to darken it down with a couple of washes at the end. Uh, the main thing is just make sure you're doing a dry brush and you're not just painting it on otherwise you'll get streaks. So be quite gentle with this as well because of the nature of this crackle paint it can just um, fall off. So if you're gentle with it it, it will stay together. Uh, tidying up the rim of the base now before we go into the washers we're just going to use a bad and black and don't get it on the top of the base otherwise you're going to have to go through all those steps again which you don't want to have to do because you're going to have to wait and you'll do two or three coats of this black around the rim. You're better off doing that than doing the thick coat. That's one of the reasons why I use these paint pots to, to hold base as well. I'm painting them because you can go around the rim of the base very easily and you don't get your hands covered in black paint. It's just less mess. Okay, the first wash we're going to use is Agrax Earthshade and this is quite a heavy wash. You could thin this down with medium just so that it isn't as dark of a colour but I'm, I want them to be darker so it's completely down to your preference what you want them to look like in the end uh, remember this will darken down as it dries and I'm just doing this so that it, it binds all of the, the crackle paint together and then just because I wanted it to look more like an alien planet I've added a bit of Caraberg Crimson and I'm going to wash it in this as well this is after the Agrax has dried and this will give it a tint so it's going to be a bit of brown, a bit of red and that is the base done. Very easy to do.